Good morning, friends. Okay. So, I haven't made a video in a while. So I've been doing a lot of gardening. Let me show you here. The garden is really growing and I'm actually eating out of the garden. I've got some sage this morning and something is eating my kale. Well, I gotta get, I have seven dust for that. I've got to, to apply that. And here I have a, a bell pepper. Got some, I bought a new tomato plant the other day. The corn is growing, which I'm about to transplant. The long tomato here, I don't know, it's not doing too well here, so I may have to move it. I may have to move the tomato plants onto the patio. Watermelon, onion, which I ate some this morning, and beans, which I ate with my breakfast this morning. Yes, the yellow wax beans are growing. And I had like a handful that I pulled off of here. Here's some here. I let them get longer than this and they turn yellow. My daughter thought they were dead. I said, no, that's how they look. They're supposed to turn yellow. They are yellow wax beans. So that's my protein. That's my protein. Here's some lettuce, which I have not eaten yet. I'm gonna repot it today. Uh, radish, I got some, I did radish today. And this is just a plant, <laughs> zinnia. Down here is my, I planted seeds from the eggplant from last year. They haven't come up yet, so I think I'm gonna go buy another eggplant plant and put in here. They're fast growers. This is, I can't remember, and it washed off. I have to go get the, I can't remember, but something's coming up. We'll see. That's something. Okay. My blueberry bush that I bought from Sprouts. Yep. Growing blueberries. And I put eggshells in my plants, y'all. And more watermelons. And then those are the herb gardens over there on the patio. And there's Ninja, my constant companion. You know, my problem is gardening with dogs. And that's what this um, video basically is about today. Because I'm going to move the, I'm in the process of moving the greenhouse from here to a spot along the wall here because I don't want to walk out every day I didn't find it pleasant walking out through a, through the dog yard and dogs do what dogs do they do do and I don't want to walk out of here and every morning to you know tend to the plant so I really just didn't do anything in here except use it for storage but I still have a lot of things I want to start. So I'm going to move it up there near the patio where I like to sit. And next to the, the raised garden bed there. So I'm taking it off. And another reason I'm moving it is because it never fit here well. This back part here. Because it's up against the fence. And it's up against this part. It never fit flush. So this part kept falling off. So I said, okay. I'm gonna move it. Um, oh, there's water. I don't like having water for mosquitoes, so I'll go put this on a plant. So that's what I'm doing today. Moving the, um, I'm gonna put this up here because I wanna water the, the plant on my stand over here. So I'll use this to do that. And I'm gonna do some more planting today. So I got my soil there. Um, I'll also be putting some hanging, some plants from here. I'm gonna put hooks and hang my um, strawberries over here too. So everything will be in one place. The water I use to water the strawberries up there will just fall down on the plants here. That's why I'm gonna move the tomatoes because they don't really do well with all this water from top. So 
I'll have to move them over to, to the patio and try to just hang water in there. But that's what I'm doing today. It's an overcast day. So, really nice. Not too cool. Not too hot. The tree is filled in really well. I didn't have to do any pruning this year. Last year I had to prune because we had a lot of low branches. In fact, here's some more growing out. So like that branch there, I had to prune it off. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, I left it there because I wanted to hang like um, baskets from it and stuff, but I think I could just hang it from the other upper thing. So anyway, this is my plan. This is my day. How's your day going? Put um, your comment. Um, what are you doing in your garden? Put it in the comments. Put a link to your YouTube page or your blog or your social media account. And I'll go and visit you too. And we got a new air conditioner. The, the spot there is still the same. Junkie. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm loving this 2017 winter, I mean summer, spring, the spring of 2017 garden season. I am truly loving it. My neighbor's over there cutting his yard. They have a garden. I'll let you see over there. I'll let you see. They have a garden. They have a garden. <laughs> so, I'm going to, when I remove that, I'm going to put along this fence, I'm gonna go get a couple of boards and that's where I'm gonna grow my watermelon and cantaloupes. I'm gonna do a raised bed right there along the fence. And that way the dog can still do his thing and I don't have to come out here that much for them because they don't require a lot of water. They just, they like sand and they, grow well in heat. Here are my cucumbers here. So I need to get that done so I can transplant. So this is Ruth with the Motivation Garden. And I hope your gardening season is growing well. Like I said before, um, if you like what you're seeing on my channel, I'll be sharing my organic gardening tips, how I grow everything. These are the peas. We went out of town this weekend and my brother, uh, Sandy, was supposed to be tended the garden but he also learned about Netflix this weekend and I think he had a little bit too much Netflix going on so the uh, peas they're almost not about to make it here yeah they're kind of dry so there's some water for you but the strawberries I'm, I lost the strawberries Barely he was gonna replant those and he finally did but he waited almost till it was they were almost dry so I got a, that one right there oops that one right there was almost dead but it came back and those two he got in time but that one was almost dead so yeah this is where I'm going to put the green the mini greenhouse I'm gonna put it right here at the end of these and I thought about getting another board another two of those two by fours and extending all the way over but not this year I'll leave it like I'll, I'll leave it as is the other option I have for the watermelon and cantaloupes is to put them under here because I already have a back partition there with the wall I can just put a board right there at the front and stack it up and pour some dirt over in there so I have options so I may be doing that here just like making that into like a, a, ray, a mini raised bed underneath and and that over there as a long raised bed from that pole to that bowl and I may carry it all the way around we'll see how that works out but I don't as we are renters I don't want to tear up too much of the guy's yard 
So that's why I'm, um, I have a raised bed because it's, you know, I'm a renter. And I don't want to just come out. I could come out here and do a full-fledged raised bed in the middle of the yard, but I don't know how long we're going to be here. And I want to impact as less as I can. So when we move, I can just take all this with me. Everything is portable. It can go with me. I can just get some sod and lay it down as we leave. And <clears throat> that'll grow right back. It'll grow back fast anyway. But this is leaving as much, you know, making, making as less a mess as I can and tearing up his yard as less as I can. And we have a gardener that comes every two weeks and he keeps the grounds cut for us and everything. I thought I was gonna do that with this hand more over here, but I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it to my brother. <laughs> Let them do their thing with it because I'm not for it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't do it. I just don't wanna do it. So that's that, that's the update. So I'm gonna, in this video now I don't want to make it too long and um, I'll see you on the next video like share subscribe and I hope you're having a great day bye bye